Hey guys, it's JC. I wanted to do a pick a card on what is coming to you in August of 2022. So I have three piles to pick from today. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Uh, so take a minute if you have to and see what pile is calling to you and we will get into your reading. These are just um, some pre oracle cards that I shuffled out and then I will pull some tarot cards for you. So uh, let's get into it. We'll start with pile one. And the rose quartz. Okay. If you chose pile one, pile one, this is your reading with the rose quartz. So let's get after it. Let's see what we got here. We have Angel of Balance, number 48. Flexibility. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Some of you might have moon in Aquarius or just be Aquarius. Ooh, we have why so serious not that big of a deal lighten up keep a sense of humor laughter is the best medicine don't take it too seriously you are in charge of your happiness smile you don't own all the problems in the world okay so i'm gonna save these two cards because i pulled two kind of just for inspiration and it's one is like a crystal card with an affirmation so let's get into your reading pile number one welcome Welcome, welcome. First, let's start with the Angel of Balance. We have Angel of Balance, flexibility, you're already doing it. Show the world the real you and why so serious. So I feel like pile number one, I feel like you need to find balance in your life and be more flexible. But I feel like there's something that you're working on. Um, whether it is a new business venture or a creative pro project or it's there's something that you are really kind of going after and the why so serious card is here because um i feel like you need to find balance between oh, hold on guys dog's making so much noise sorry um the why so serious, the flexibility, you're already doing it, show the world the real you. I feel like you are putting a lot of emphasis on one thing. It's so much that you are kind of almost running, either running yourself into the ground or kind of being overwhelmed with it um, or just focusing on one thing. I feel like you really need to balance. Um, I feel like you want something really, really bad and it is awesome to go after your goals. I totally support that. But there needs to be a balance because <laughs> as, um, you know, just coming from experience, um, I mean, I'm a business owner and it's hard because when you want something so bad and you get so dialed in and so focused, it's really hard. Um, sometimes you get in so like go mode and focus mode that you, you're like overworking, overworking, overworking. Um, and you, sometimes you can become like creatively you can have you can come into blocks either creatively or you know idea wise and you have to get yourself out of that work mode right like nothing but work mode like trust me i know when you really want something you're going after it i get it right i totally get it but it's almost causing like a little bit of blockage because you don't realize how much inspiration and ideas that you get from taking yourself out of the situation or, you know, not thinking about it and just taking a break. Um, you get little ideas and inspirations and thoughts um, of what that you could be blocking you, if that makes any sense. Um, I feel like there needs to be a balance of having, it's like a work-life balance. Um, I also feel like some of you might be working on a project I want to say it's like, I want to feel like some of you are about to launch a website or um, you're, you want to become an influencer in some way, or you're an artist or something like that. 
or um, you, and regardless of what it is, some of you are working on something that you're about to launch or that you're getting ready to launch or you want to put out into the world. And I feel like you're starting to become like analysis paralysis, right? It's like too much overthinking, too much putting detail when in reality, you're like, the thing is about owning a business, You are, it's going to evolve, okay? You're gonna switch things up, even your logo. It doesn't have to be totally, totally perfect because guess what, you're probably gonna change it in a little bit, okay? That's part of being a business owner. You evolve into other things. I think that when you focus too much on like all those minor details and trying to perfect something, I feel like it just prolongs the situation. And trust me, like I am, I will tell you, I am that person too. Because when you put something out, you want it to be really good, right? You put a lot of heart, soul, blood, sweat, tears into it. And you do want it to be perfect, but it's almost like your perfection is, or your perfectionist ways are kind of like holding you back when you should just put it out and kind of get that feedback from it. And then you can kind of pivot and make adjustments that you have to, to kind of dial it in, right? Because you will keep spinning your wheels and spinning your wheels energetically and, you know, <laughs> in a lot of different areas, if you just don't take breaks out, I think, you know, you guys, whoever is, I'm talking to for pile one, you guys are really driven. It says you're already doing it. Okay. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. When you get into this, this, um, you know, state of overthinking, okay, I think that you need to just realize why you're doing it and kind of dial it down to that. Why being so serious? This, this, he's so happy. This little Buddha, he's so happy. He has a big smile on your face. Like, when's the last time you, like, really felt this kind of joy and contentment, okay? And the thing is, um, people can sense that energetically, and you don't want that if you're trying to launch a business or a brand or anything. Um, your stress um, will kind of carry on to the way that people perceive your brand. I feel like you need to be unapologetic about who you are and what you're trying to do and get it out there. Um, show the world the real you and be authentic about it. Um, and guess what? It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect and it, it doesn't ha like, it doesn't have to, and it's not going to be, but it, you are going to be perfectly imperfect for what you are doing and what you're re representing and you should just own it, you know? Um, and everybody makes mistakes as business owners. Nothing is going to be completely perfect. You just need to be like, all right, what have I been just like spinning my wheels on? What can I let go of? And then why am I doing this? Get back down to your core values. Why am I doing this? Are those core values something that is still there that, you know, in what I'm still doing or how have I lost track of those? Are they even still in all this work that I've been doing? So I feel like you need to ask yourself that. You're already in that flow of doing it, but you really need to find the balance. So I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I'm going to use some Modern Witch Tarot. I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle. I already did shuffle them pretty good before. So Spirit, what else does my pile one need to know for August? I feel like too, August, at least in the States, um, you know, it's like summertime. Go out and have some fun, you know. Flexibility, like you can even see here, it's like bamboo. There's a tiger here, right? Tigers are pretty nimble. They're pretty flexible, right? Because they can move really fast. Um, and then you have all these bamboo shoots. It's like all this bamboo. Bamboo is really flexible, okay? It's kind of, it's really sturdy though, too. It's able to bend, but it's a solid, you know, it's a solid plant. Okay, so Spirit, what else does my pile one? Oh, all right. Yeah, you guys are, need to move on. So we have the chariot and the two of swords. I'm going to pull a couple more cards before I go over them. What else does pile needs one need to know for August 2022? Please, spirit, what else? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. <laughs> this kind of says what I've already been saying. Uh, one more, please. Just let's get one more card. For Pile 1, please, Spirit, for August 2022. Yeah, okay, we're two. Okay, here we are. <laughs> wow, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We love that. We love that. Okay, so. I'm actually going to try to zoom out a little bit more. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. So we have the chariot. The chariot is all about moving past obstacles. Okay. The chariot, see these two sphinxes at the bottom? We have black and white. Okay. There's a sense of duality there. Um, and the chariot, she's kind of a bad bitch, right? She's got her sword. She's on her motorcycle with her awesome moto jacket. And you're, she's like, yeah, we're going to go past these obstacles and we're just going to do it, you know? Um, the chariot is somebody who has a lot of willpower and they do move past obstacles. The chariot is who takes the emperor to get to where he's got to go, right? And sometimes if you think about it, if the chariot's carrying the emperor, you might get, you know, a flat tire or, you know, something malfunctions with the wagon wheel. <laughs> I don't know. You know, but the chariot figures it out and he moves forward. Um, and the chariot's victory and success and because, you know, like she's ready to go and willing. So um, I do think that you're going to move past these obstacles, but there is a sense of either you're at a crossroads or there's, you're kind of, you're kind of at a crossroads or you're kind of being stagnant right now. You're sitting here, this girl is sitting here and she's like, you know, you wouldn't like ask her what time it is or <laughs> where the coffee shop is. Um, this girl looks, looks like she just wants to be by herself and in her own mind, but that's not moving forward. Okay. So we need to get out of this place of stagnancy because what she doesn't see is all of this land is actually like a new land that she hasn't even seen or been to. And I feel like when you're stuck in a position, because that's what she's doing, she, this is self-inflicted stuck. You know, this is overthinking for sure. Um, being too caught up in your thoughts um, to see what's on the outside, to see that there's new land that you can kind of break ground on or even explore, right? Which has a lot of opportunity. Um, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse next, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, which is the Knight of Wands in reverse in this particular reading. I would say, you know, the Knight of Wands upright the Knight of Wands upright, he comes in quick. Okay, wands are extremely fast moving. They represent um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, they're fire signs. They have a lot of passion. They have a lot of, you know, forward movement, ambition. They're the initiators. You know, a lot of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, they have that leadership that, like, I'm just going to go for it and, you know, and I want, I'm going to be successful at it. Um, and I feel like because, you know, the Knight of Wands upright is very creative usually and is in in the upright position. The Knight of Wands is, you know, he's in pursuit of something. And with it in reverse, I feel like you are like creatively blocked because you are stuck here. Because you're kind of, you're stuck in a place that you need to muster up the willpower or like do something to change something, be more flexible. Okay, get yourself out of this situation. Okay, I feel like you're kind of like blocked a little bit in some way. And I want to say it's creatively because um, wands are very creative um, or represent creativity. But you're not moving on something that you need to. Four of Pentacles is next. This is stability. It's also holding on to something, holding on to an idea, being possessive about it. When I think you need to like let it out. Um, you have the Six of Wands next, which is public recognition, victory, um, getting recognized. Um, and I feel like you need to let go of trying to hold everything at once. And I feel like it's your your ideas or you're trying to perfect something 
so much, you're holding on to it so tightly when you really need to release it. You need to release something because you are going to have a lot of success. You are going to have a lot of you know, recognition for it. And you might even be awarded in some way. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. A Aquarius is the sign of, you know, Aquarius is like the sign of like, they're very flowy. They're very airy. They're just like, okay, let's do it. And they're also communicators. They're an air sign. Okay. So I feel like you need to get a message out or get whatever that you're trying to get out whether it's a brand or a message or something, you know, whatever it may be, or if it's at work and you're working on a project or you're working on a side project, whatever it may be, you need to just stop thinking about it too much and you just need to release it and then dial it in after that. Because I feel like, and I feel like you need to take more time to get out. Um, I feel like you do need to be more flexible and the flexibility is going to come when you kind of let go a little bit of perfectionist and I feel like you need to lighten up because that and get out a little bit more um because the bottom of the deck is the nine of cups and the seven of pentacles okay seven of pentacles is really being very thorough and very goal oriented and really believing in her goal. She's planting her seed and she's like, oh, okay, she's watching those seeds grow. Unfortunately, it's not going to grow overnight, but she's made the investment to plant the seeds, right? The nine of cups is here because this is, you know, it's something that brings you a lot of happiness within you, a lot of joy. Um, and I think that you also need to bring a little more joy into your life. Um, so pile number one, I think that is going to be your reading. I feel like it's really cut and dry. Um, if I had to sum it up, oh, wait, I forgot. Let's see your little, your little musical oracle and what kind of crystal. You have Jimi Hendrix, only losers stay in tune. If you live in a room of full of mirrors, all your, all you will see is yourself. Technology is a tool, but it will never set you free. See? Only a loser stay in tune. Just send it out. Release it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, you know, what a great advice. Only a loser stay in tune. I love Jimi Hendrix. Uh, for real though. Um, blue topaz, clear communication. This is your crystal, pile one. Do you ever wish that you had the gift of gab and can converse smoothly and effectively? With this association with the throat chakra and the crisp blue color, blue topaz helps you communicate in a clear and articulate way. For teachers, uh, or for teachers wearing blue topaz and jewelry, can enhance their ability to explain complex situations in easy to understand manner. For orators, it will help them speak with eloquence and fluency. So maybe you just need to speak. A lot of you, like there's, when I was saying about the air, I feel like maybe maybe some of your throat chakra is a little bit blocked and you just need to say what you want and send it out into the world. Um, your affirmation is, I have the ability to speak with clarity and eloquence. So pile one, that is going to be your reading. And I'm going to move on to pile two. This is lower my shade, sorry. Okay. It's a great reading. Okay. Pile number two. If you picked this, I want to say it's yellow jasper. I want to call it mustard jasper because it looks like mustard, but okay. Pile number two. This is your reading. Welcome. We have angel of love number 49. We have don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. We have success. We have starseed, what lights you up? And we have play your cards right. Strategic moves, take your time, don't be in such a rush, play smart, can't control the hand you're dealt with. Work with what you got, you have all the knowledge and insight in knowing which moves to make in this situation. Okay. Starseed pile. <laughs> Welcome. 
Okay, so I feel like this is my pile. Angel of Love. This reading, I'm getting two different storylines off of immediately. One, pile two, you either... I feel like this could turn into a love reading, not only with Angel of Love, but don't let pride get in your way. I feel like some of you have your eyes set on something or someone. Um, and I feel like... This is somebody that's like caught your eye a little bit and kind of came out of nowhere, I want to say. Or you feel like you're being drawn to someone. And the reason why I say this is because you have one, the angel of love, right? Which brings a lot of love and connections and um, like she's cherishing this little heart in her hand. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Leos are huge lovers too, right? They're very loving. Um, they almost have like the same hair. Uh, so we also have success and we have a jaguar, which is another animal. And it's kind of similar to a lion. They, but a jaguar kind of, I don't want to say stalk its prey, but a jaguar kind of checks out, you know, the, he kind of, like if you've ever seen a jaguar move, right? They kind of just very sleekly kind of, you know, roam around the perimeter of their prey, <laughs> right? Kind of watching their every move. I feel like you're very curious about someone. They have sparked your interest in love. The star seed, I feel like you have a magnetic attraction to this person and you don't know why. Or you are coming to realize why you have it. And there's a sense of like nervousness because I feel like you want to approach this person. Um, you might you might be a star seed, you might both be a star seeds. Um, so you might have like a draw to this person. Um, it could even be past life. But I feel like you're nervous because, like, play your cards right. You know, it says strategic moves, right? And the jaguar, when he's hunting something, he makes strategic moves because he's hungry, right? And he wants to make sure he can eat. Um, so he's very calculated on, let's say, you know, which antelope or whatever out of the herd that he goes after. But there's a reason why he's picking that one. Some may be the weakest link. The other one may look pretty strong and healthy, so it feeds him right, you know? I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, I feel like you want to have success. You want to make this offer to someone because you feel magnetically drawn to them Maybe you know why, maybe you don't. Maybe you're starting to realize. But I feel like for some reason, this person lights you up in a way that either hasn't been lit up in a while or just is very different than what you've been used to. They're saying don't let pride get in your way because you should make an approach to this person. But here you are being a creeper. I'm just kidding. <laughs> being a creeper I'm totally kidding pile two I like to mess around a lot I'm absolutely kidding but you know you're kind of hiding out in the bushes right now uh you might even get let's straighten this out sorry it's gonna bother me um you might even be getting like you know little tips off your friends or trying to find information you know with this little I think it's like a cockatoo or parakeet or something <laughs> Uh, um, but I feel like you're trying to find information about this person so you can move in strategically. Um, it does look good. I feel like you're not being creepy at all. I feel like you're just having, you have, you do have good intentions, but there's like, I feel like you feel a connection to this person. Um, 
on a different level. See, like there's like planets and there's even like a, like a, there's two, a couple planets. Um, and I feel like this person's very different um, than anybody that you've met. And you're feeling drawn to them, but you want to, one, don't let pride get in your way. Like spirit wants you to know, um, you know, try not to be too prideful or if you're feeling something, like if your gut's telling you something, you should pursue it. When it says play your cards right, I feel like, you know, think about why you're attracted to this person or um, kind of what draws you to them, you know? Um, I think, I don't know, this is a very interesting reading. I'm getting a lot of Like, I feel like this is definitely a love reading. So, pile two, I think that you are interested in somebody that you are just, like, really magnetically attracted to. I almost feel like you've been watching this person for a while and have found out information on them to get to know them better. Not in a creepy way. I feel like you, like, I'm feeling the energy you're trying to get to know because you're like, why am I drawn to this person? I feel like I know them. Um, and I feel like you are just looking for information to maybe validate those feelings. But let's pull some tarot. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about this. This is interesting. <laughs> I have to tell you, I didn't look at these cards, so I'm like, oh, oh, wow. I just picked up this deck and two of cups is on the bottom. <laughs> wow, two of cups and the fool. Wow. A new beginning in love. That's crazy. I didn't look at these cards, so I'm kind of kind of thrown up for a loop. I didn't expect a reading like this. Yikes. Okay, um, let's get into it. Spirit, what else does pile to? Oh, we have the six of wands that popped up. Okay, that's good. Victory, success. I like it. Yeah, and even if you notice here, like, this girl's got a heart in her hand, right? And then the king is popping out in back of her, like, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Even the jack's like, oh, what's going on there? <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just noticed that. Spirit, what else does Pile 2 need to know for August 2022? What else does Pile 2 need to know for August 2022? Show me a couple cards for pile two. Oh, okay. Devil in reverse. Nine of cups. What else? Let me pull a couple more cards and then we'll go over them. What else for pile two, please? For August. Oh, King of Rods. Yeah. One more, please. One more for pile two. Oh, and it did come out. All right, I'm not checking that one. Okay. Actually, give me one more. Show me one more. One more for pile two. And then we'll go over your cards. One more, please, Spirit. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, we got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, I just picked up the top of the deck and look at it. Definitely, I'm taking it. <laughs> Definitely confirming the love reading here. Look at this. The devil in reverse, okay? This is a positive transformation. Um, it's also, it's kind of releasing the things that are holding you back, right? The Releasing the things that bind you. Um, we have the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is being joy, happy, being fulfilled, okay? We also have the king of rods in this deck, but it's the king of wands. And the king of wands goes after what he wants, okay? Like, he's extremely ambitious. He's um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Uh, we also have another Leo card, which is a six of um, wands. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo 
but the king of wands like he goes after that wish fulfillment he doesn't let anything hold him back he goes after what he wants he's ambitious and the king of wands is um very charming um you know very charismatic you know absolute boss and usually very 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 attractive <laughs> Um, but he's, you know, powerful. He goes after with no, um, what he wants with no bullshit. He's creative, ambitious. Um, he's definitely a take charge kind of guy. And the fact that he has these leaves on his wand is somebody that wants to grow and be a better person as well. The six of wands is, this is public recognition. It could be public recognition, but I feel like this is victory. In this this is having victory this is having um you know just like that relationship I mean you're ending with the ten of pentacles and the freaking ace of cups uh this is like having everything you want you know being that power couple and it's male or female it doesn't matter in tarot it, gender doesn't matter in tarot so just throw that out the door it's just the you know this is the energy that you or this person embodies I want to say it might be you, it could be somebody else that's coming in to, towards you in the month of August. Definitely strong Leo. We also have, um, I mean, you have, yeah, full moon in Leo. <laughs> Hello. Uh, definitely strong Leo. So somebody you, some of you might be dealing with Leo or it is Leo season in August. So that makes sense. Uh, the 10 of pentacles, like these people are protected and they, it's like, this is generational success like having that together so i feel like can you have it over here to success i feel like it's you know having someone that like these people are together that you can work on like having this amazing success and wealth together it's like a power couple kind of vibe that i'm getting um and i feel like you're kind of releasing all the negative bullshit and you are striving for success, either that or this person. So pile two, get ready for love um, in August. That's exciting. If you're the one pursuing, I think you're going to have victory for sure. I feel like this is going to be, if you were the one um, definitely in pursuit or going after someone, I think you're going to have a lot of success, especially with the six of wands and the ten of pentacles. I mean, good grief. This is amazing. It's really good. Like, that's all the victory you'll need. Um, but just release those negative thoughts, okay? And play your cards right. And I'm going to get into your musical oracle and your crystal. And we have PJ Harvey. When in doubt, to swim, when in doubt swim to new ground. Jam with others, but remain the lead. Redream past lives. Oh, this could be a past life connection. Okay, maybe that's why you're magnetically pulled. Okay, um, blue kyanite, higher guidance. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> it was higher guide, higher guidance, star seed. We have a lot, I told you, it was like past life stuff. I can, you guys have known each other before. Past life, twin flame, um, if you believe in that. Blue kyanite acts as a bridge between the physical plane and the astral plane. When the combination of blue for the throat chakra and the white for the crown chakra stimulating the higher realm, kyanite helps you communicate and receive messages from your spirit guides. Kyanite emanates a high vibration, vibrational frequency. It is one of the few crystals that do not need to be cleansed because it never retains negative energy. Placing kyanite on your forehead will calm your mind, allowing to hear your higher guidance. Okay, your affirmation is, by quieting my mind, I can receive higher guidance, which kind of validates if this is a past um, life connection or a twin flame connection. I do believe that there's some telepathic stuff going on, especially with the star C card. So pile number two, what a beautiful reading. I'm very excited for you. Um, that is going to be your reading. Thank you for checking out the channel and I'm going to move on to pile number three. Wow, I didn't expect a loved one. Okay. 
So let's get pile number three. If you chose this blue, I think it's moonstone. It is moonstone. I want to say it's might be opalite. It might be opalite. This is your reading. Doesn't matter. <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, we have victory number 28. We have look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. We have illumination. We have leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. We have trust the process. Not on your timing, but divine timing. Believe this love still exists. I will always come back to you. Keep the faith long distance. Have the patience and strength to wait for what you truly deserve. And don't entertain anything less than that. Okay. Uh, these two I'm going to save for the end. So, trust the process. Let's see here. We have victory and look at the big picture. Give me a second. I have not looked at these cards. I just literally picked them. I, I think it's more, I think it's fun when I don't know because I'm like, oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, which this one, I have to take a minute to kind of marinate in it for a little bit. Not a little bit, but just a minute. Okay, so pile three, the energy that I'm getting from you is, I think you are on a path um, that you, I feel like some of you are changing paths almost, or getting ready to change paths. And the reason why, and I know this is like a love card, but I'm not getting a total love reading. I feel like you're switching paths in, it could be career, it could be love too. Um, so here's the thing, victory and, and looking at the bigger picture, I feel like you're being illuminated by something, okay? Either you have chosen to maybe even switch paths or maybe you're kind of looking at the bigger picture in life and you're like, mm, it's still like a little foggy, right? Or I'm just really not sure where the road is leaving. We're just walking down it. Um, I feel like you are either at a beginning of a transformation or you have just kind of awakened to either a different career path, or it could be love. I mean, it definitely could be love. Um, but the universe is asking, cause I feel like this is a new, this is just kind of fresh. I feel like a lot of fresh. That's why I'm like, wow, there's so much. <laughs> I got a lot of fresh energy. It's like, you know, think of when you have a really good idea about something and then all the ideas come in about how you're going to execute that idea and like all these things start coming up and your mind starts running, right? That's the energy that I'm getting. And I feel like spirit wants you just to kind of focus on the big picture because I feel like you're spinning your wheels a little bit because you're like, how are we gonna get to the finish line fast? How are we gonna get this victory? And I feel like there's still a lot of gray area you have to work out. I'm feeling like a lot of mental energy too. Um, and I feel like spirit just wants you to take a leap um, and just, you're walking down the road, keep walking, but um, there are things I feel like that you aren't aware of that the universe is working behind the scenes on. And that's why there's still a lot of fog here. I feel like illuminate, illumination will come. But I feel like it's going to be, and I know you, you y'all hate to hear this, and I hate, <laughs> I hate to hear it too. If, and, but I'm just going to say it because that's what I'm feeling. I feel like it's gonna be on divine timing. I feel like there is a path for you that might be better than the one that you were on. 
but it hasn't been fully illuminated to you. And spirit just wants you to focus on the big picture of what you want now. But I feel like there's things that are, like I said, there's things that are working behind the scenes. See this arrow here? I feel like it's all of a sudden going to be like, bam. And you're going to be like, oh shit. You're going to have to pick a different road. Or you might have to pick a different road. And then you're going to have to leap, right? And you're going to have to kind of take a chance on something. You will be victorious at it. But I definitely see a different path for you coming up. And I feel like it might come out of nowhere. Or for some of you, you could be looking at the big picture. And you don't like your big picture right now. And you're looking for a change, but you're not sure where to go. I feel like you're. some of you are definitely going to be offered an opportunity that's going to, and you'll have more clarity on it, but it hasn't been presented to you yet. Um, and this is from the universe that they're just going to kind of put in your face and it's, it's going to make you kind of switch paths here. So let's pull some tarot. This is interesting. <laughs> Let's pull a little tarot. But they're going to want you to take a leap when this gets clear. Woman and Sagittarius, too. Sagittarius, you know, are explorers. They're and the Sagittarius is, you know, ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion and exploration. It's also the planet of travel. We have the Knave of Wands upright. What else, Spirit? What else for Pile 3? What do they need to know? Knave of Wands is also somebody who's in pursuit of something. Somebody who's ambitious. Somebody who is forward-moving. Somebody who just goes after what they want. A lot of cards but so we have the six of swords moving on to calmer waters the ten of wands the four of cups the ace of cups and the nine of cups i'm just gonna pull a couple more show me two more at least please spirit this is interesting i feel like i need a good amount of clarification show me more for pile three Okay, we have the Nine of Wands and the Tower and then the Emperor. Damn. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this is a couple more tarot cards than I pulled for the other groups. However, I feel like <laughs> I feel like we need to see where the ships go on here. Um Knave of Wands. Like I said, Naval One's in pursuit of something, okay? It definitely goes after. There's definitely a change coming with the tower here. Okay, Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters, okay? It's moving forward, moving on to calmer waters, moving on to a different... Let's see if I can just... Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure you guys can see the cards. Not totally straight, but whatever. <laughs> it's the message that counts, right? I'm working on my setup. Sorry, guys. Um, I just wanted to get this reading out, so. Uh, the Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters. This is moving forward um, to even explore new land. Um, these people are on a ship, right? Um, and they're headed towards a new land, a better land, um, something that's more suited for them. The Six of Swords in the original tarot, it has two people on a boat and they're headed because they don't want to be in that spot anymore, um, you know, that they are, that they're at. They want something better. They want something new. You have the Ten of Wands because I feel you're moving on from something. Ten of Wands is carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're trying to carry all this weight and the thing is, when you have all these wands to carry, you can't see where you're going. 
and you know when you're overworked and you're kind of just overextended in a lot of ways which creates the four of cups <laughs> four of cups is kind of like depression it's apathy it's kind of like feeling like you missed some opportunities okay um it, it's also i don't know i just feel like it's like a i call it like the bummed out card because um, in the original tarot too, or just, you know, the regular writer weight, there's a person kind of like, kind of thinking about all the cups that they don't have in the universe. It's like the universe has a hand with a cup and they're like, if you were just to look up, right? Um, you have the ace of cups. This is the ace of chalices. This is a new beginning. Some of you, I can see this could be a relationship. If that applies to you, I feel like... For those of you who are single, or maybe soon to be single from what I'm getting from this, I feel like you have been illuminated for... In something in your relationship and looking at the big picture, you're kind of wondering if you still want it or not. Or if you should just move on because you're carrying a lot of burden and weight but there is a new beginning um with the ace of cups that is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness i feel like it's too so you have the nine of wands and the tower here this is nine of wands it's perseverance they they've been through a battle and the tower is sudden change upheaval movement and then you have it backed by the emperor who conquers and takes control, you know, um, takes action. The emperor makes decisions. So uh, those of you that are in a relationship, I feel like you guys might be on a new path. You're learning more things about each other. And you're ready for a change in the relationship. And you're trying to like move on. Maybe it's been a little bit rough lately. But I see it getting better. I just see, you know, with the with the nine of wands and the tower and then the emperor. I feel like you'll have like a new beginning. For those of you already in a connection, I feel like you will have. I think things have been a little bit rough. <laughs> But I feel like you're trying to move on from kind of feeling either overburdened. It could be even like work affecting it. But I feel like there's a sense of a little depression here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel it in my energy. Um, but I feel like it's going to get better no matter what it is. Trust the process. Uh, maybe if you've been, you know, in a really, you know, and if you've been even married for a while, I feel like maybe you just need to put a little bit more passion, like, back into your marriage. But the strength and perseverance, maybe you guys just need to switch it up a little bit. And I mean that in maybe you should look for a new place to live together or... You need to do, like, get out of the mundane kind of, you know, everyday life things. I feel like a sense of just not only exhaustion, a little bit of depression, and just a need for change. The Six of Swords is like, they're, those people are leaving because they need to change. And I'm not saying leave your marriage or whatever, because I don't see a lot of toxic cards. There are like, you, you know, the Ten of Wands and then the Nine of Wands. But the Nine of Wands is somebody who perseveres. They go through the battles. They've been through the battles. I think there's a change or sudden upheaval and something needs to be, <laughs> I don't want to say conquered. Something needs to be conquered. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, you know. Um, those of you who've been married in a while, maybe that's something you should incorporate in, um, <laughs> uh, trying new things. I have no idea. Spice it up. Um, 
<sighs> Sorry, I had to go there. But trust the process. I feel like some of you are just kind of going, you're in a little bit of a slump and it's because you, you're, it, you need a change. Okay, basically. Um, there could be a tower moment that is about to happen. Maybe that's what you're being illuminated for. Or there might be something, and the tower doesn't have to be a bad shock. It can be a good shock. Um, but it's going to make you feel better. You know, the Emperor is Aries energy. Um, Aries have a lot of passion and energy. And I think there needs there's going to be a change that's going to bring your energy and your passion back. And your authoritative figure, not authoritative figure, but it's going to make you feel like the emperor and make you feel good. Um, I also think that for some of you, this is not love. I feel like when, you know, this is something that's going to be illuminated to you, whatever this offer is is going to be it's like a new beginning that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you with the ace of cups and the nine of cups and it's because you went through a lot of a lot of stuff to get there so pile three i'm going to end it here oh wait 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 your cards we have Elvis. You are the king. That's what the emperor is. Never let reality stand in your way. Always keep heaven on speed dial. There we go. Oh, uh, we have Ruby, passion. Since ancient times, Ruby has been one of the most precious and valuable gemstones. Its red ray promotes passion. Ruby reminds you that you are equally prize and deserve of a life of passion. Does your career match your passion? Are you engaged in activities that exhilarate you? Do you, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Uh, do you form a, do you form relationship that light your fire? Ruby encourages you to take steps in your lighting, your life with more passion. I mean, that's what this reading's <laughs> Right? Your affirmation is every day I do things that promote passion in my life. And that's what this is. Okay? And sometimes you need a change. Or it might be a, a tower moment that happens and you feel really defeated. But you are going to come out on top. You are going to have victory. Pile number three. I love you and thank you for checking out my channel. And I will see you on the next one.